Stephen, a terrific win here in the Highlands tonight. How pleased are you with that performance? Yeah, very pleased. Uh, three important points, you know, um, just before we go into a semi-final. So it was important that we, we kept focused tonight. And uh, I thought we started the game on the front foot. We competed really well. We earned the right to play and then our quality came through and we scored four excellent goals. So a lot of positives, clean sheet as well, a lot of strong performances. Fans were excellent. Um, Tav, superb. I'm pleased for him, obviously, uh, being in the final line of late, but I thought he was immaculate tonight. Um, Ryan Jack, two goals, got excited, <laughs> nearly at Attic, another couple for Buff, so yeah, I'm, I'm very pleased, I thought we got sloppy in the last 20 minutes, um, the game's won but I want the standards to remain the same because um, goal difference could be important and um, I don't want to put ourselves where we're risking injury and we're taking too many touches and slowing things down, so um, we need to just remain with the same, the same standards all the way through, so, but in the main, very strong performance. Excellent finishing from Alfredo, as you expect, but Ryan Jack's two goals, as you mentioned, were, were terrific. Ryan was outstanding in his performance. I had the luxury to take him off and rest him because he's so important for us. Um, but two fantastic goals from the edge of the box. And Buffalo, I think Shea does magnificently well for the first goal. He passes in, runs, gets on the end of a 1-2 and then puts a delicious ball to the back post. And the second goal was, was all about Buff, really. Um, lovely little slide pass from Joe Rebo, what we've been working on a lot in training. And then he just smashes the side of the net off and um, fantastic finish again. And the level of control you had over the game and some of the football you played, I know they did the one that hit the post late on, but terrific from that perspective too. Yeah, I think they had one moment and then they needed a bit of luck with the deflection and it's hit the post, but I'm delighted that we got the clean sheet because I thought uh, the way we'd done the basics and the way we competed and done the dirty bits tonight, I thought we deserved a, a clean sheet, but in possession, a lot of control, a lot of strong performances, besides a bit of uh, sloppiness and laziness in the last 20 minutes. You said at the weekend you wanted the fans to, to get behind James and help him through this this period, and fantastic to hear them, as you say, you know, singing his name and getting behind him tonight. Yeah, well, you know, I've been a player um, when things are not going your way and, and you're, you're in the firing line and you're fighting to get your top form back, and um, the last thing you need is teammates getting on your back, a manager getting on your back, and supporters, uh, Ewan and Aaron. The supporters here are fantastic. They're up there with the best in the world, there's no doubt about that. But sometimes I need to play at times um, just for a bit of support for maybe an individual. And that's what I've done and I thought he got right behind James tonight and it was no surprise that he performed really well. And Sunday, as you mentioned, a massive game. How do you look forward to that and how does the next few days shape up? We just focus on the challenge. Uh, we're staying over in Ross County tonight to start the recovery. Uh, the focus needs to switch pretty quickly to the semi-final. But um, we have to respect the occasion. But remember the process, remember our standards, remember what we've done. Um, you know, for the majority of the games this season, uh, to find our level. If we find our level, um, you know, it, it should be enough.